Excuse me, man. Get out. Oh. I had an intro plan where I was going to say for that man to get out of my face, and then he walked away before I could play the intro and make it funny. Sigh. Okay, hey guys, Pokecon14, welcome back to Pokemon Black and White episode. It has been way too long for me to remember the episode number. Woo! Failure! Alright, in the last episode, we beat the Opelousa City Gym Leader. And, yeah, pretty much. And in this episode, we're going to be continuing on to Route 10. I think it's Route 10. I, I'm probably completely off on that. Or are we? Alright, I do I have a minute. Actually, I have a lot of minutes because it's Saturday night. A cross transceiver, a storm on Route 7, a natural phenomenon, strange exclamation mark, so. Alright, so yes. Uh... Talking about the cross transceiver, and there is a storm on Route 7 now. So, I think that what any good person would do when there's a storm... Well, what do you do? Obviously, fly right into the heart of it, because we're smart like that. And I think I could have probably said something a lot funnier in that situation, but didn't have any stuff to. Alright, now. So, here we are. Back in the straw, because Route 7 is right above there, if you couldn't see. Right. I want to ride my bike. I've sung enough. And, I mean, it's, it's the start of the episode. I haven't sung enough. But, alright. Route 7. Isn't that where the storm was? Oh! Uh, maybe I should stop talking. Oh, jeez. That is some... Um, heavy wind. Okay, like, I literally cannot see the screen right now. I have a bad recording angle, and... Okay, this is getting me kind of dizzy, honestly. Oh, okay, so... It's just raining here, and then down here... They're the winds that are trying to kill you! Oh my gosh, that's quite bad. But now that I'm up here, I can actually freaking see again! Alright, so make your way over here into the heart of the storm. Even though I'm pretty sure we've already been in... Oh! Exclamation mark! I was way off on that, and there wasn't an exclamation mark there. My, my! That Pokemon has come again, too! There's the exclamation mark. Now, now, child! Don't you go! I just banged my knee into the table. Poor table. Now, now, child! Don't you go heading into the tall grass! That Pokemon might be too much for you! I'm an old grandma! And no, I have nothing against grandmothers. Grandmothers are awesome. Well, catch a cold standing around talking this wind and rain. It's not much. We come stay at my home a spell. Alright, there the rain just completely froze up. And because I'm entering a house, it just decides to stop. Because I can freeze time by entering a house. Oh, if only. Uh, soup. Uh, I... I'm, I haven't even had dinner yet, so yeah, I'll still have some soup, because I'm having, uh, well, not really having soup next, but having some pizza, which is better than soup, so I don't really want soup. Pokemon called Tornadus, so that it creates wind storms, flies around the region, letting loose wi wild winds and pounding rain. I'm sorry, guys, I, I didn't get to do the voice that entire time. I messed up! Here, have some soup, dear. It'll warm you up. I'm not cold. I obviously don't have feelings. I'm a video game character, duh. Gosh. I mean, seriously, like, let's take Minecraft, for example. You can jump into a pit of lava and then just jump out. Your legs are not wrong. I think George Lucas will have something to say about that. Or specifically, Anakin Skywalker. Uh, if you guys don't know Star Wars and you're missing out on life, cough, cough, Matthew. Have you rain eaten it? Okay, yeah. So ruining crops with troubles in Pokemon. Yeah, blah blah. Tried to catch it, flew away. Yeah, okay. I don't really feel like doing the grandma voice here because it stays here in the evenings. And yeah. All right. So what I'm pretty sure that lady actually said is that that Pokemon. Oh well. Let's have a cutscene first. But I like talking over the cutscenes because you can see them anywhere else, and this isn't that important. <gasps> New dubstep artist right there, yo. Alright, so now, Tornadus is. Alright, so, what is Storm? 
As you've heard there, that Pokemon is called Tornadus, and it flew away now that the storm's gone. It's raining, and is it lightening up? Maybe. But, alright, but what you want to do is, there's an easy way to catch this, because in... Okay, you can find... Oh, when I'm, okay, that lady, if you're playing in the evening of the game, like that uh, old person was telling that... I excuse me, words. Work for me here, please. In the evenings, Tornadus will be found in Route 7. That's where the storm is, and it'll be in Route 5 if you're playing, like, in the morning time. So, there's probably some house over there or something that I didn't see. But, yes, yeah, so we're going to be catching this thing, and I guess I'll buy some Ultra Balls, and, yeah. So, yeah, this will be my episode to catch Tornadus. Now, if you've seen... Uh, my shiny Almond and Pearl, you will know that, uh, roaming Pokemon, uh, actually, I don't even know if this happened to my shiny Almond and Pearl, but yeah, this is, if this, this is text, te te technical machine department, why do I need to buy some technical machines? Uh, alright. Yeah, okay, that, that was just pointless. Anyway, if you guys remember Mesprit from watching my shiny Almond and Pearl or playing Pokemon, which you guys don't play Pokemon, then yeah, the, that that's something wrong with you. But if you do, this is actually one of the roaming Pokemon. You will find Tornadus in Pokemon Black and Thunderous in Pokemon White. And it's pretty much the same. But uh, all right, is it is it raining in the actual game here? But there's a trick that you can do, and apparently I don't think I did it right or something. Uh. I don't know, but, hmm, if you do go in and out of Route 7, it will eventually go there, and there is an easy way to tell if it's in the area when there's a storm, and, I mean, it may not even be here, because in the actual storm, it, it storms, like, by storm, I mean storm, yeah, it, right when you enter the route, the screen will fade blue, and you'll know when it's in the room, but it's, uh, this is kind of confusing knowing that it's raining in the route already, and... Can you stop running into wild Pokemon? Maybe I could put on a repel, but no. I'll just run into the wild Pokemon then. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna cut because I'm kind of confused. What I saw on this earlier when I was preparing for this episode, uh, seems a bit different, so... Hang tight right where you are. I'll be back in one transition. Alright, I don't know how many of you are screaming at your computer screens right now saying, Connor, he's in the route! But yeah, apparently when it is raining, that does mean that Tornadus is in the route. If you're playing in Pokemon White version, which I'm playing, playing in black if you haven't realized by the entire Let's Play. Do I have any version exclusives? I don't think I do. Uh, probably not, but yeah, he, he is in the route when it is raining, so once it clears up... And that'll mean that Tornadus is not in the route anymore. Or Thunderous if you're playing white. Yeah, these are, uh, I guess I could do a little bit of explaining real quick. Tornadus and Thunderous are part of the Legendary Genies, or what it's called. Uh, it's the duo of Pokemon. And I honestly don't think they're that cool. They do have new forms in Black and White 2, but honestly, I have not played that much Black and White 2. I, I really admittedly need to go play more of that because uh, I I've beaten it but I'm not that far into the post game but this is actually getting quite annoying now because with it raining I'm pretty sure that means he's in the area because I just checked and he doesn't seem to be in the grass so you can keep going along the land border but one thing I saw is that I could uh, go in and out of the house which I may like a bit better because it's quicker than going in out of the border of the route and you can tell what the weather is a lot easier. Easier, leistic, tastical-ish. So yeah, that that's great. Just, I could randomly end a conversation saying, so yeah. Anyway, I don't really want this to take too long and I don't want this to be like uh, me catching Yuxi and taking forever if you guys saw Shining Heaven and Pearl. And if you didn't see Shining Island and Pearl, go watch that, because the Uxie episode is hilarious. Like, I'm not going to spoil how it is, ends for those of you that just now see it and 
want to go, or that just, that haven't seen it, or, or are newer viewers of mine and you want to see it, but, uh, yeah, that video, it, it's got a funny ending, and I said I was going to go in and out of the house, but there are multiple ways to do this, you could, uh, go in and out of the house and, alright, it's still raining, I don't think that he's still here, this may be something in the game where it just rains already, or there could be a, a storm. So I think uh, it'll be when he's storming. That means Tornadus is actually in the area. Not just normal rain. Because it, it may rain here normally. Uh, I should probably check up on my facts. Just real quick. I will go into the grass. And yeah, he's not showing up. I'm going to cut again to when I find him. Because... This may get kind of repetitive, and I bet some of you probably are shouting your computer screens. Connor, he's not there! You need to go make sure it's storming, not just normal rain! I've heard some of you guys talk. You really do sound like that. Okay, I, I haven't heard many of my heard many of my fans talk, and the ones that I have, they, they don't they don't sound like that, but I can pretend things, alright? Alright, Fungus. I can, right? I just shook the camera. I can pretend I didn't do that, right? Well, probably not because I said it, but that that's beside the point. As you can see here, I stopped in Shopping Mall 9 just to buy some quick balls and stuff. But, uh, yeah, this is what it looks like when Tornadus is in the area. It'll really be storming. Not that simple rain that I was saying before, but it just, like, just does stuff completely everywhere and everything and tornadoes is it a I forget what type it is it's not normal flying is it or is it just flying it's just flying hmm trying to think what pokemon should i attack it with uh, i'm gonna go with endos so i'll see what a flash cannon does to it and i may switch up later so yeah this is what it'll really look like it, it pours and after a while it may uh, it may actually go away if you run into too many wild Pokemon without actually going into it. But one thing I am curious of, like I said this multiple times, and I just replied to a comment about someone asking about repels, or not just, it was yesterday, like saying it wouldn't work. Like, it says weak wild Pokemon. Will it repel wild Pokemon at the same level? That's something that I'm just about to test out. So, I'll put Splash up front. I'll, I won't attack it with something that powerful, but please still be storing. And I really hope that I have a normal repel in here. I do have max, and I know that. But I'm just sorting out my items. Looking to see if I have a normal repel. Or super repel is fine. I have a bunch of super repels. And I don't seem to have a normal one. So, I'll just go with super. Run around in the grass with a level 40 Pokemon. Because when you do catch Thunder and Tornadus, it is a level 40. Ah, so yeah. If you have Pokemon level 40 and below... Then you will be able to find it and use a repel and run into it. So this is Tornadus. This is a version exclusive to Pokemon Black. Its counterpart Thunderous is in Pokemon White. Obviously, I won't be showing it, but hmm. yeah, I, I guess I'm not going to be showing it. I, I I said that pretty clear. Uh, if this surf knocks it out, then this will be really stupid if it does. I don't expect it to, but yeah. Oh. Jeez, that did a lot. That wasn't critical hit. I kind of expected it to be. All right, so that's what it looks like whenever you run into tornadoes. And what it, what I was actually saying about uh, tornadoes and thunderous, like in the morning, it's gonna appear in more of the northern routes. Like, uh, yeah, like from that, that Mr. Alton City above there. So. That's why I like going back and forth between Route 7 or inside that house works too. Uh, either way, you could travel along Route 7. And is it raining here? I think it rains here normally, actually. So I don't think this is a very good idea to keep going here because it will be raining here no matter what. But you can go across the land border multiple times. And if you see the screen start to fade to blue, the storm will be coming. And I actually... Dude, did it? Is it fading? Is it fading? Doesn't seem like it. What's how does the actual root barrier? I think at the end of the path right here. Uh. Yeah. Okay. So right now I'm just going to cut to 
to when I found him again, and if I do find a better spot, then I will let you know. Sorry for the amount of cuts in this video, but to make it the best, I will cut. That That's... I wanted to have, like, a catchphrase or something, but it kind of failed. Alright, encounter number two. I'm getting really lucky with Route 9, apparently. So, yeah, Tornadus, it will have the same amount of health that it... And the same status conditions and everything as it did as the last time after you left off after the battle. Um, or I guess that may make sense. Uh, hopefully Grass Knot will knock it out. Okay, that's really close. So I guess what I am going to do is just go ahead and try to fight it from here. I won't try to weaken it anymore because it probably will knock it out if I try to weaken it. And I'll, I'll just go in and out of the gate right here. And I'm glad it doesn't put me off my bike because I like my bike. And uh, it gets me going faster. Hee hee hee. Alright, well I guess I'll see you guys when... Uh, I'll see you guys when... Right now. And, okay, that intro scene to this battle looks amazing. Like, I need to go back and play Black and White 2 again. Or more, at least. But, one thing I... One thing I did, like, a lot about those games is, like, the graphics to the intros. Oh, especially Team Plasma. In this game and in Black and White 2, Team Plasma... Their intro looks amazing. Now, I'm gonna go for quick balls. I may go for some dusk balls. I may go for some ultra balls here. But, uh, you know, of course, Marilyn gets in on his first quick ball because that's who I watched before this to prepare. And, you know, I don't. So, I guess I'll cut up and I may make a mashup video or a montage of all the failed quick balls I have, which I should have done with Uxie. But I had pretty good commentary during that. But, oh man, Uxie took forever. It's my favorite, it's one of, if not my favorite legendary Pokemon, but it just was such a pain to catch. <sighs> Alright. Enter transition! Alright, last try on the commentary part of this. I'm gonna go ahead and see if a Dusk Bomb will work, and then I guess after that I'll do some, uh, just mashups and montage vi music, maybe. Shouldn't last too long, but this... Uh, all these battles may last a long time. This can get very tedious. I, I'll be the first one to say it. This is, can be very boring, very annoying, very tedious, and yeah, I even started putting on music on my phone. Yeah, all right. I'm sorry if anyone that was caught way off guard by my finally there, but yeah, <laughs> that's a cool description. <coughs> I caught. Ugh, geez, that took too long. No one non-nicknamed me. It just get in my PC box. Gosh. Okay, I think. Oh man, that took forever. As you can see, I was going back and forth between this route, and yeah, that is what I just thought worked best. Whew, okay. I am worn out. I'm just gonna go quickly finish the rest of this video up so I, 
look at Thunderous, then go and relax and do things tonight. Alright, but yeah, one thing I forgot to mention is that this is this may be actually a pretty good choice to use your Master Ball on. As you can clearly tell. Okay. Yeah. Thunderous it is. I'm, there may be another roaming Pokemon in Unova. I'm, on, I'm honestly not sure. It's been a while since I've actually played it. But, uh, like, this is uh, my only, only my second playthrough of it. Of this game, I did play through Black and White, too. But, yeah, revert. Re reverse revenge air cutter extra sensory and agility pretty good stats what nature relaxed man yeah, it's not that good scatter seems often good HP okay finally and I even tried some timer balls there because uh, I don't know I, I just didn't even know why he said that I want to see if that'll do any better because quick balls in the beginning obviously weren't looking w looking working so let's see if timer balls did any better they didn't really it was an ultra wall that finally caught it. You know, uh, oh man, does that feel really good. If I forget anything, I may do a voiceover of it during the montage of um, stuff, of Pokeball throwings that I did. But other than that, yeah, that's pretty much catching the legendary genie Tornadus. So, thank you guys for watching. So, it's going Pokemon Black and Light off here. Now, I'm going to go for a jog if you need me. Which, yeah, this is really a jog. How is this sprinting? That, that He's kind of pretty slow. I, okay, so this would be my jogging speed. And this would be my running speed. No, this would be my running speed. Okay, I don't know. I'm actually not that fast, but I'm strong in baseball. Yeah, hit home runs. You don't need to run. Just jog around the bases. But it, actually, Bryce Harper, if you MLB followers don't know who that is, uh... He's a rookie baseball player. His home run trot around the bases is, can be faster than me sprinting around the bases. I mean, he's prodigy, all right. Yeah, all right, there's my baseball talk of the day and of the year because I don't talk about that much baseball in my videos, but I do some. Anyway, I've been extending my outro too long because I talk too much. Thank you guys for watching this episode of Pokemon Black and White walkthrough, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go check out some of my other videos. Like uh, New Super Mario Bros. Wii series, it's going pretty well. Enjoying that. And Shiny Pokemon Diamond and Pearl and Minecraft Survival. These have been down recently, so uh, be sure to go watch some videos and give it a thumbs up. Give me your feedback. And, uh... oh yeah. Or in the comments, leave me a story. What is your most frustrating legendary Pokemon or just Pokemon moment in general that is my challenge to you and if I remember I will post it in the comments too like like say and have a question in the episode I don't do that much but yeah that that's close that's kind of frustrating I think I hear my phone ringing wait hold on a second yeah it's ringing perfect timing I gotta go answer that yeah.